Hello friends, you're welcome back to Queen Variety's channel. Today I will share a perfectly fried Nigerian stew recipe with you. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share my video with your friends and loved ones. Alright, on my work surface you will need various items I have placed here. A combination of onions, garlic, ginger, scotch bonnet pepper, spring onions and green chili. At the same time, you will need a mixture of fresh rosemary and fresh basil. These items I will combine into my food processor and have it completely crushed down in a coarse form. My choice of protein for this recipe will be a combination of goat meat and beef. I have placed that into my pot. Everything has been neatly washed and cleansed. I will break in two seasoning cubes, salt to taste and a generous quantity of the blended mixture. Mix everything to combine appropriately just so that everything will spread and the taste will be evenly combined. Cover this pot and cook for exactly 10 to 15 good minutes. For extra vegetables, you will need fresh tomatoes and onions. The onions you use is your choice. At the same time, I have some bell peppers. For the bell peppers, please make sure you deceive completely. I have all the colors of various types of bell peppers here. <laughs> okay, so into my pot, I have added some water. I will then throw all the vegetables I just mentioned into the pot. We are going to steam this for at least 10 to 15 good minutes. Back to the proteins after 10 minutes, it is now ready. You can see it has released a good level of stock. Introduce more water to it just so that it will cook for at least um, 60 to 70 percent cooked, and then I will transfer them to my oven and have it grilled. 10 to 15 minutes later, the vegetables are ready. I will set them inside a sieve, allow them to drain excess water, and also let the heat reduce before I blend. Into my pot, I will pour a generous quantity of uh, vegetable oil. The oil you use is your own choice. Here, I will add the blended ingredients that we have left over in the food processor. I will fry that for at least 3 to 5 good minutes. Then, introduce 2 pairs of seasoning cubes. Spices of my choice, I have here thyme and dry rosemary. You will also need 1 tablespoon of paprika powder. Next, 2 tablespoons of curry powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander and cumin. Mix everything for at least 1 to 2 good minutes and then introduce the tin tomato puri. For the tin tomato paste, it tends to have this bitter taste and flavor with it, so I'll fry that for 10 good minutes. At this stage, I will now go ahead and crush down all the items I have cooked earlier on, which is now completely cooled. We are going to crush that in a smooth consistency. 10 minutes later, the sauce is now ready and completely cooked. You can see how dark the appearance of the stew looks. To the pot, I will introduce 2 tins of chopped tomatoes together with the blended ingredients. Pour everything in the mix to combine and guys, the appearance of this sauce is giving me so much joy. <laughs> this kitchen smells incredibly awesome. Cover the pot, allow that to cook down for a few minutes. 15 to 20 minutes later, I've taken my time to cook this gently on a medium settings. It is ready and it smells incredibly awesome. I will now introduce a combination of um, goat meat and beef stock. Just introduce the stock that you're using depending on what protein you have used. I'll cover that to cook down for 10 good minutes. And guys, 10 minutes later, look at that gorgeous appearance. The oil at the surface is an indication that it is ready. To give your stew that final boost and flavorful outcome, we are going to introduce more curry powder, thyme and salt to the stew and mix that in. All the items that we have grilled earlier on. I have the goat meat and the beef. I will pour that inside the pot and then mix to coat this completely. I will cook that for extra 10 minutes. Now, let me remind you that um, you can also air fry the items just in case you don't want to, you know, grill them. And guys, after 10 to 15 minutes, trust me, this stew is perfectly super ready and absolutely flavorful. <laughs> guys our stew is ready one thing about preparing stew is that you have to be very very patient if 
if you're very patient you will have the best results out of your stew now guys take a good look at the final outcome of this stew preparation that is how you make your perfectly fried nigerian stew such that if you serve your family they are going to have a delightful experience today i'll be pairing my with boiled spaghetti you can pair with jollof rice white boiled rice white yams plantains or anything of your choice thank you so much for spending time with me i hope you have enjoyed this video remember to like share and also subscribe variety is the spice of life until i come your way next time stay blessed and love god bless you bye for now